Welcome to Mac Helpers. Now let's go right back into numbers. Now let's go ahead and click on the test video for video again. This is the video or the, the spreadsheet we've been using all along. So now I'm just going to show you the basics of adding text. I've kind of shown you in the previous videos of how to do that, but I'm going to actually explain how to do it. So when you click on a cell, when you just tap it, it kind of just selects it. It allows you to do from copying and pasting to pretty much whatever you want to do with it. So to actually add text to a specific cell, you just double tap inside that cell. And then it's going to bring up the keyboard slash, I mean, it's just basically a keyboard. 42, see on the left right here, so it's 42. That's kind of like your currency, where, where to enter numbers. Then you got your the, the clock looking thing is kind of your date and time or duration. The T is just for text. And the equals kind of your formula, your toolbar kind of deal. You go and click the X there. Um, now to go back into it, double tap. Let's say I just want to add some basic text. So actually, let's go to the header bar. So if let's we're actually creating data. Let's say um, let's say we're going to do the months of the year. So January. Then we'll click on the next one. February. The next one, March. Next one. Now let's say you're like, well, I don't really like how that looks. So you can go ahead and click on this, double tap it again, and actually go back into the, tool, into the into the paintbrush tool and actually change how that cell looks. So let's go make that. See, it was already bold. You're gonna turn italics, underline, strike through it. Text options. Let's say we wanted this bigger. And color. Let's say we wanted it to be red. For I don't know why, but that's what you just want to do it that way. Then you can go through and change which one you want to do. Change the different styles, formatting it, border style. Oh, that's not for that's not for text, but for text you can create make this bigger as well. Underline it, strike through it. Actually, you don't want to strike through that one. Let's say, and you want to centered, move it there. Now that's kind of it for adjusting text. Now there's another way to add text. So let's kind of scroll down. Let's see how we got the the. the it's this chart here, this pie chart. And so when you're moving it around, let's say you're putting together a whole way of how something looks, and you didn't, like you can't just line up, a cell just doesn't line up properly with, with where this data sits. So you can go ahead and click the plus sign, go back to the shapes icon, see the text. Now you can add a text box. See this little thing that popped up? Now you can move it. So let's say you wanted it actually inside here or here or wherever you wanted it, but you can put it exactly precisely where you want it. And so there, that little line that comes up, kind of what I showed you earlier with the center guides, that yellow line shows you that's centered under that pie chart. So double tap it. This is centered under pie chart. Bam, return, or you can just end the keyboard. And actually, it didn't line up anymore because it, it it was it was left justified, so it was just typing over and it was just moving along, moving the, the text box wide, right along. You can actually adjust the size so it wraps the text or whatever. Now, just like before, you can go ahead and click the plus icon, or not the plus icon, I'm sorry, hit the paintbrush tool, and then it can kind of show you. So now it, it put a the, that, that background color, I should say, I'm sorry. Couldn't spit that out there. But that was uh, the background color. You can change it to bold, change the font size, change the color to gray, to black, to white, or to colors if you swipe back over, give you different styles. Change the font again. Let's go, let's say we wanted it in that one. Oh, that's pretty hard to read. So let's say that one we wanted to do. Go back there. You could change the style that just kind of gives you a bunch of different things on how you'd want it to look right away. And it kind of gives you an example of right off the bat of what the paragraph style would be. Dark label, light label. You can arrange it and it's just kind of moving it where if you had a bunch of different things on there, the important part there is to kind of move it where you want it and situate it. And that's kind of it for uh, the text box is actually, I should take that back, you got these little sections here. See, Apple really gives you a ton of different things. So that one kind of looks like it's hovering over the center of the page. This is kind of a box all the way around. Kind of gives you a box at the corner. Gives you different shapes. You can turn reflection on. Turn it on so it's a little bit bigger opacity. Making it a little bit more opaque where it's, let's say you didn't need it so bright. You can do a border around the text box. Make the width really big. Make it a dotted line, stripe line. Change the color of the box or the I should say the, the border color. Let's see how it does that there. A lot of different cool options. Um, and it all depends on what kind of document you're using and how you want everything to look. 
And that's basically it for adding text and changing how text looks and things like that. We're using a text box or just entering it directly into a cell. So if you guys have any questions at all, email us at info at yourmachelpers.com or go to our website, yourmachelpers.com. Hit the help tab and you can ask us any questions and we'll get back to you within 24 hours, if not sooner. Thank you very much.